uh, creativity as a whole right now. This is something that you and I talk a lot about off camera. Um, so SummerSlam took place this past weekend. Um, 60,000 fans they had a you know, pretty good lineup of matches. Um, but going back to a SummerSlam that you were involved with, in fact, that you opened at the Philadelphia Spectrum in 1990, let's compare and contrast a little bit, if we will. So, um, Paul, did you see, first of all, did you watch SummerSlam or did you see the highlights? Um, so I, I didn't I didn't watch SummerSlam mm -hmm. be, because of the what's not being done anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it, it doesn't draw my attention. I, I watch, I go, okay. You know, and then you see the next match, you're like, mm, okay. Yeah. And then you see another match, like, oh, well, I like that spot, but the rest was blah. Right. Um, I think the big difference today is we went out and we had lived it. They are on a, they're Hollywood now. Mm -hmm. They're scripted. How they can do that is beyond me. Mm -hmm. I mean, God bless them that they can do it because I couldn't do it. You know, here, put your left in front of your right. I mean, I know it's not that crazy, but for the most part it is, yeah. you know, if they miss a spot, they go back and do the spot again. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, 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 to me, it's just insulting. Mm -hmm. It's humiliating, mm -hmm. but this is what they want. Mm -hmm. It's not organic is the word I'm looking for. It reminded me the setup looked like SummerSlam 92 uh, in Wembley Stadium, but because it was an outdoor stadium. But I, I have a tendency to agree with you. You know, it's not it. Nothing really catches your attention. You can try and do surprises. So they did a surprise with the women's opening match where Eddie, um, sorry, Ray Mysterio's son, uh, he was he was. Apparently he was with this uh, this women's champion Rhea Ripley, uh, I believe is her name. Uh, she lost because he helped this girl apparently that he's been having a fling with. Which again, I think there are some things, and I think you might agree with me, Paul. We know the guy's married in real life. He just got married, Dominic Mysterio, to a wife. But yet he's playing that he's involved in this tri love triangle. But yet it's plastered all over the internet that he just got married. I mean, there are some things that you cannot suspend, right? Right, so, right. So, right. It, again, and, and so it doesn't hold any value when you watch it. It's just like, well, we know the guy's married. This is just a joke. Um right. The beauty that happened when I'm going to use SummerSlam 90 as a reference point, because in my mind, that was one of the most polished SummerSlams to ever be produced. You had you guys in the opening card. You had the Texas Tornado and Mr. Perfect. You had the Warrior and Root in the cage. Hogan and Earthquake. I mean, you had just a stacked card, but every match was telling a long form story. And that's what we... We, we the only one that happened this weekend was Drew McIntyre and CM Punk, and that ended abysmally for everything that it was built up to be for Drew to win and go over CM Punk. It just seemed like a lack of you know lack of story to creative storytelling. But um, going back to 1990, uh, Paul, tell us a little bit about what went into producing it so some of the meetings you would have had with or what you would have been told from the office back then how how did they map out in time for a pay-per-view did it start months in advance or was it you know on the spur of the moment how was it all weaved together well it, it was you know it was months in advance mm -hmm. so they they build a storyline mm -hmm. right to lead up to a pay-per-view yeah. which is kind of what they get away from right now Right. Um, but you know, nothing is told to you hmm. unless they want you to crash through a glass, you know, window yeah. or, or, you know, uh, come down out of the rafters or, you know, something like that. Other than that, it is, um, it was told in all the, 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 uh, houses mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. So you go to an arena and you have, you're fighting the rockers. Right. And there's you're in Chicago. And then the next night you go to Detroit and you're facing the Rockers. So the people want to come and see what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Is it a draw? Whatever the case may be. But by the time it built up and we got to that pay-per-view, 
we just went out and, you know, did we know who was going to win? Sure we did. But everything else was ad-libbed. 